What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to grab one of these monitors from the free broadcast studio pack from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. We're going to grab one of these monitors right here, set it up so that it becomes a video input or a media player that you can use for all your virtual productions with Unreal Engine and Eximetry. And we're going to set it up in a way so that you can easily copy paste it to all your future projects. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Unreal Editor for Eximetry that's compatible with Unreal Engine 5.1. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and download this Broadcast Studio asset and add it to one of your projects. Once you have done that, go to the Broadcast Studio folder and find a level that's called Showcase. Load it up and you should see this level right here. Go ahead and select one of these monitors. In the Details panel, click the Browse To icon to find out where the static mesh is located. Now go ahead and open up a second content browser window. Place it so that you can see it side by side with your first content browser. Go back to your main content folder, right click, and create a new folder called Monitor. This is the folder that you'll be able to copy and paste to all your future projects. Open it up and let's copy the static mesh of the screen to that folder. After you're done copying, double click on it and you should get this window right here. As you can see, the static mesh is using two material. One is used for the body and one material is used for the actual screen. Select your content browser and again, browse to asset. Now let's copy the material to your folder. Browse to asset again and let's copy the second material to your folder. If you open up the two materials, you will realize that they are material instances and both have a parent material. Again, select Content Browser 1 and Browse to Asset and let's copy the master material. Do it for the other material as well. Browse to Asset and copy the master material. The last thing I need to do is copy the textures. So again, Content Browser 1 and Browse to Asset. Copy all the textures. Now I have all the three textures that I need for the material of the body of the monitor. Now all I need is a texture for the screen. And actually, I'm not going to be using the material instance for the screen, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that as I'm going to be using the master material directly. So when I double click on it, I can click on the texture sample and again, content browser one, and I can browse to asset, copy paste it to your folder. So now I have all the assets that I need inside one folder. Now let's talk a little bit about dependencies. I want to make sure that when I copy paste this folder into a new project, none of the links break. So I usually do this from top to bottom. So you start with the static mesh, and then you have the material in the middle and the texture at the end. So if I hover to my static mesh and I hover on the material, as you can see, it's still pointing to the original material, not the one that we copied to the folder. So I'm going to use the material instance for the body that we've already copied and the master screen material that we've already copied as well. You have to make sure that your material instance is using the master material from the one that you've copied. There you go. And now I'm gonna go to the material and I'm gonna make sure it's using again the texture that we've already copied. It's the same texture, just different location. And also for the screen. When you're done, don't forget to save everything. So we're done with the copy and paste thing. Now let's start building the blueprint. Right click, blueprint class, and create a new actor. I'm gonna name mine BP Monitor. Double click to open up your blueprint. And now let's drag the monitor static mesh into the blueprint. But before I do that, I'm gonna rename it to SM Static Mesh Monitor, just to keep things tidy. Now I'll drag it in. Now let's set up the material that we're gonna use as a video input, which is this one right here, M Screen Master. I'm going to rename this to M underscore AXM for Eximetry. Let's double click it to open it up. I'm going to select the texture sample node, right click and convert to parameter. And I'm going to rename it LED input. And you have to remember the name because you have to input it again when you're trying to reference to it later on. And you can't have any typos, otherwise it won't work. As you can see, the RGB output is plugged into an emissive color. This makes sense because a TV screen emits light. But if you want to have control over how emissive it is, you can hold M, click to add a multiply node, and now you can set the desired amount of emissiveness. I like to go with 0.3. Now let's move on to the event graph. You can keep event begin play and event tick. Those are the only two events that you will need. You will need a get asymmetry video node. And now I'm going to need a create dynamic material instance. Get the one that's referencing to the SM monitor. And the last node you're going to need is the set texture parameter value. 
And make sure it's plugged into the event tick, not the event begin play, because you're gonna be constantly having a video fed into this material. And for the parameter name, make sure it's spelled exactly how you spelled it in your material, LED input. Add a name for the input pin. Make sure you're referencing to the correct material, which is a M underscore AXM. And the last thing you need to make sure is the element index. If you select the SM monitor, you will see that the screen is on the second material slot, element one. Right now, it's pointing to element zero. Make sure you change it to one. Otherwise, you're gonna be setting material one as your video input. And that's actually the frame of your monitor, which is probably something you don't want. And you should be done here. Go ahead, click and compile and save everything. And now let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna drag in the BP monitor and get an axiometry camera. I'm gonna make sure the monitor is facing the camera just to make it easy on me when I load it up in Aximetry. And let's save all and cook content for Aximetry. So I've added my Unreal project into Aximetry. And as you can see, there is my floating monitor. And here is my video input pin. But does it work? I'm gonna try and drag and drop a picture and see if it works. And there you go. And let's try out a video just for fun. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. Now I'm going to create a new project. And of course, for this project, I also want to use the same monitor. So I'm gonna navigate into my first project, into the contents folder, and I have my monitor folder right here, and I can just copy this and bring it in to my new project under the same content folder. And now, as you can see, I have the folder right here, and I can drag the monitor into my project. After dragging the blueprint into the level, you can see right away that there's an issue. The materials aren't showing for the body, and that's because we didn't copy the textures for the master material. That's a very easy problem to solve. Let's just create a new material. And I'm gonna name it M underscore monitor body. Double click it, and let's drag in the three textures that we have. Red for roughness, green for metallic, and blue for ambient occlusion. Go ahead and apply and save your material. Open up your static mesh and select the new material you just made and drag it into slot material number one. And now your monitor is looking as it should. And now you can delete these two materials as you're not gonna be needing them anymore. Now, what if I wanted to use a custom texture for mock-up purposes, such as the one I have right here? I could just drag the image down into my content browser Unreal Engine will convert it into a texture. I can just open up my AXM material, select the texture node, and replace it with your new texture. And there you go. Something to watch out for is this text coordinate node. If I break it, as you can see, that sort of broke my screen. And let me explain why. If you select your static mesh and select the UV tab, you can see that the static mesh has three UV channels, zero, one, and two. As you can see, the one that's used for the actual screen is UV channel one. As you can see, coordinate index one. So this is what the node is telling the material. Please use the UV coordinate one. If you break it, it resolves back to coordinate zero. I could also just type in one and you're good to go. All right, so I hope that information was useful to some of you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel to support it. And if you guys would like to request a certain tutorial regarding Unreal Engine and Eximetry, don't hesitate, write it down in the comment and I will consider it for my next video. Thank you for watching, see you guys on the next one.